features that we have are what we call an MMOS, a Marine Mammal Observation Station. So where the scientists used to have to come up here onto the bridge top, weather the elements, try and look out at the, at the whales, at the birds, uh, now they've got a fully enclosed space where they can do this and not be exposed to the elements. We work with many different levels of Coast Guard, both back in Ottawa and you know here, boots on the steel. Um, I would say predominantly we work with the inspectors as well as the ship's crew. They're doing a lot of work, 12, 16 hour days to help support us. All three of these vessels are fishery science vessels. So that means they're looking at the ecosystem and looking at the fishery resources. So they go out and test the water column, they bring the fish on board, they examine the fish. Uh, we literally have five labs on board. If you also consider the fact we have a mammal observation area right on the top of the ship. The fact that building a ship is such a collaborative effort and it takes the efforts of hundreds of people to get it done. When we see a vessel hit those, those major milestones, so there's launch, there's sea trials, and then event, and then finally delivery, um, it's always a very uh, proud moment. So these are ships we're building in Canada. So we had to build up a shipbuilding industry, and a lot of these suppliers come back on board the ship for sea trials or in the set to work before sea trials to make sure their equipment is working properly. One of the most interesting things I've found is the level of uh, collaboration between the shipyard and the Coast Guard. And that's just been a really uh, good learning curve for everyone uh, to, to be working together to understand each other's organizations. Pride and ownership is, is translated throughout the shipyard. You know, every person you talk to, they're all incredibly proud of all of the things that they're doing for both the Coast Guard, for the shipyard, and for the country.